Now, I'm going to finish with a story about this woman. She's Fan Bingbing. She's one of China's biggest film stars. And she features in this report, which has been released by a Chinese university, which ranks how socially responsible a hundred different celebrities are. It says it looks at professional work, charitable actions, and personal integrity. And it's given Fan Bingbing a rating of 0%. Now, this university is run by the Chinese state. The Chinese state media is very interested in this report. Have a look at this press conference for the release of its findings. All of the big state media companies turned up to find out about it. And there's one other element to this story, arguably the most important. Fan Bingbing has been missing for three months, and there's a lot of speculation that she may have been detained. We know her last social media posting was at the beginning of June on the site Weibo. It's about helping children with heart disease, which may sound quite charitable, evidently not enough to score points in this report. The same problem came Jackie Chan's way. You'll know him well. He's also known for donating to charity, but he also scores badly. In fact, only nine celebrities rack up any sort of decent score, and they include the members of TF Boys, a boy band. No danger of them upsetting the state. They've had hits with tracks like I Love You China. Well, we often talk to Kerry Allen about China. She's a media analyst with BBC Monitoring, and she's been on this story. The report itself says that it was based on research and web scraping, but it doesn't go into much detail about how they've actually kind of broken down um, the report, you know, where they've got this information from on, uh, on what makes a celebrity socially responsible and what makes somebody not. And, uh, and people are surprised that only nine people have passed this test. Um, so, uh, so celebrities like TF Boys and Shu Jung, who's a famous actor, um, whereas people like Jackie Chan, for example, um, yeah, who's internationally known, has been doing philanthropy work for years. Um, people have been surprised that he's uh, he's so low, far down, the, uh, so far down the list. Uh, but then you've got, for example, Fan Bingbing, who's got absolutely zero, um, and fans of her are saying that they think that this report is incredible. Is there a correlation between the celebrities who are the most overtly enthusiastic about the Chinese government and where they score? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, I mean, celebrities like TF Boys, for example, they, uh, um, they've sung propaganda songs previously. Um, they've been, been very active in, uh, in government um, like initiatives. And, uh, and yes, they've, um, they've really become the kind of golden boys of uh, Chinese celebrity in recent years. But um, Fan Bingbing, um, a number of months ago, she was accused by a very well-known director of, um, of evading her taxes. And even though there's, uh, there's no grounds for this, um, her studios actually deny these allegations and there's no evidence that's come out in state media saying that she has um, committed this crime um, that, um, that yeah, it's, people are kind of interpreting this report as she's been written off by the state well, Let's talk about Fan Bingbing Do we not have any idea where she is? None at all No, this has been one of the biggest mysteries in Chinese media in recent months so, uh, so she's not posted on social media or been seen in public for months and, uh, and people are very concerned and they've been asking state media um, what's happened to her. They've been leaving messages on her Weibo um, account as well, which is still active and saying, uh, you know, please let us know you that you're OK. Um, but uh, they've heard absolutely nothing and there's no indication that she's been either seen in public or, uh, or, or you know, nobody knows where she is really. So, uh, uh, so people are concerned about this. And uh, there was a state newspaper recently that, um, that included a report that said that, um, um, that she was, uh, quote, under control um, and, uh, and she was being investigated. Um, mm. But this report was actually taken offline. Um, so uh, within hours of it going onto this website, this official newspaper, Securities Daily, um, it was nowhere to be seen. And, uh, and posts have been censored that, uh, that mentioned this original report. Thanks very much to Kerry from BBC Monitoring.